All right, today, underwater video tips. I wanna give you a couple of tips on how to shoot better video underwater. I'm here in Jamaica shooting a new season of Secrets of the Underground. It's been fantastic. How many things still exist below the surface undiscovered? Coming down! This could be a tunnel system. Maybe a place to put treasure. Secrets of the Underground. Today is my off day and we're going diving. Now for me, when you take underwater video, you can't just take your video camera and head out to the ocean and start waving it around and expect that you're gonna get good stuff. It's surprising how many times I go diving with people for different shows and they expect that if they have a camera, they're just gonna get good stuff. It doesn't happen that way, obviously. So here's the first things that I tell people. Now the first mistake newbies make is a composition mistake. Now often when you're diving, you're looking down on everything. You don't want to take video that way because it looks terrible. It just looks like this. Instead, you want to get low and you want to shoot up to the reef. Now watch what happens as I start changing this angle and getting down lower and lower and lower. It makes a much nicer shot. Now if you want to spice things up, say you're diving on a wreck, get down off of the side of the wreck and shoot up at it. Let that be the background element and then say, swim over the top of it or something like that. Now this relates to my next tip and that is you need to find a way to make your video stable. Now when you're diving, people don't think about bringing a tripod but what I like to do is I like to bring a jaws clamp for my GoPro and I can take that jaws clamp and I can stuff it down into the sand or I can clamp it onto a piece of dead rock. You don't want to do anything living, of course. And then all of a sudden, your shot takes on a completely different feel. It's not moving anymore. Just kind of neat to watch. Third tip, if you're shooting by yourself, try to add some human element to it, which means that you're gonna have to set your camera down and go swim out and swim back over the top of your camera. Now I do a lot of self-shooting and that's mostly because everybody who comes with me has no idea how to use a video camera, so I trust my ability more than just somebody waving it around randomly. So I'll set the camera down into the ground and I'll add that human element simply by swimming over the top of it and grabbing it and then going on to the next location. It's nice if you don't have divers, I suppose, if that's the feel you're going for, but I kind of like it when you add somebody to that mix. And then my final aspect is think about all the different things that you might shoot on your dive to tell the story. For me, that included just some very simple things like the trip out there, walking up to the dive place and getting ready and jumping in. I think those things are really important if you're gonna edit it up later and tell that story. I feel like I could go on and on with tips for underwater filmmaking, but I'll keep this one fairly short. Stay tuned for future videos because I have other tips and we'll see you in a future video.